This one's popped up in the air. Wow, this is going to go way over the camera tower. That is a humongous six straight into the olive groves. And Sandy Reddy's been greeted by the dangerous Tenvir. This is a man who's now hit his 29th six. This one's struck up in the ground. Oh, man, it's been popped up. Is the fielder going to get to it? He puts a hand out almost in vain, and it's going to go past him. The umpires look at each other. Is that a four? Is that a six? That is a very interesting action by Alavala, but the outcome is something we've seen far too often today. That's four wides. Captain decided to change the field. Goes straight to the mat at long on, and that's a wicket. Well, this has been a really odd over. He's given up seven runs without bowling a legal delivery, and then he sends one straight to the fielder at long on. Mind you, that wasn't the fielding change. The long on fielder stayed right where he was, and Tanvir departs having made just seven runs. This one's played away. It's a nice straight delivery. Goes to the fielder, and oh my goodness, he's got to be doing better than that. That's an appalling bit of fielding. This was struck up in the air, another catching opportunity, and it's taken. And the second wicket falls for the Napa Royal Kings. That's 23 for two now. Good stuff here, Alavala. This one struck away, nice bottom-handed stroke, and that's gonna go behind point for four. Fuller delivery, this one's been struck, and it's gonna go over the head of the fielder at Cal Corner. Well, the captain kept a man there on purpose, but there's nothing you can do about the ball. Once again, that's quite wide, but uh, Ahmed, he's just gonna strike that one away for four, nice work. Pretty well as well, 42 for two. Well play done. That's a delightful shot. It was just nothing more than just a bit of a push. Uh, there's an appeal, and that's given. There was a little edge through to the keeper, and Avala, he's the only man who's looked like getting wickets, and he gets his third one. That's uh, 46 for three now for the Napa Royal Kings, and it's all because of this man. He's picked up his third. Uh, that's a full toss. There's uh, not too many fields you can keep for that one. Okay, 54 for free. Runs, not an issue. Wickets could be. Uh, this is gently tapped in the air. The fielder backed away from it, and you can't do that. Oh, well, that's not a good look at all, is it, from the fielder? He providing a bit of width, and this is going to beat all the fielders. It's going to go away for a boundary, so back to back force to start off this over. This one just aim out of the leg stump, but it's going to take a bounce and go for four. Well, the umpire is actually signaling it's a six, so I was mistaken there. That's gone the distance. It's a maximum. This is a brilliant shot. And yes, it actually falls just on the right side of the rope from the batting point of view. Another 3.5 overs. Yeah, it can be done, but you're, you're right. It's going to have to be spot on. This one's heaved up in the air. Is there a catching opportunity here? I don't think there is, as this one's been deposited into the olive groves. And Ahmed looks keen to get a big total here as he moves on to 37 with a maximum. Well, it was deep into the olive groves, wasn't it? And then, uh, well. This one he just struck away, and is he going to beat the fielder? He will beat the fielder again. That's another boundary. They're dealing exclusively in boundaries right now, the Napa Royal Kings. And that's exactly what he does. That one just angling back in, jags right back, and clips the top of the leg stump. He's managed to get Gundeep Singh out, and that's an important wicket for the Super Kings. That is some good, good bowling. Captain goes back to his experienced man when he knows he needs a wicket, and he delivers. And he's decided to strike one. This is skied. Is the fielder going to get underneath it? He certainly will. And it's a golden duck for Singh, whose uh, desire to add more runs to his poultry ECS run total as uh, certainly not going to be accomplished today. And they managed to go bang, bang here. And we see Patti come back. This is uh, a bit too slow, really, to bowl at that length. And it's going to go for four. And this will be it. It will go all the way. Bowl. Bowl, bowl, bowl. And now it's time to go shaba, shaba to the batter. 
because Ahmed does bring up the 50. It's the first batter, the first bit of individual delight for a batter. Brings up his 50 and he does it in style as well. What a lovely shot that was. Wait for it. That's the timer going off. He goes to zero. Free hit and he's been absolutely hammered. That's a biggie. Shaba, Shaba, Kinna, Sona. And that one is sweet out of the middle of the bat. Well, this is sweeter. It's a clean ball. This one a little straighter. There's a catching opportunity here. And the catch will be taken. An excellent catch by Thirubati Sandy Reddy, who picked up two wickets earlier when he bowled. And now he takes his second catch of the day. So it's been an excellent day so far for him in the field. Doing the job with ball in hand. And when the ball reaches his hand. So good stuff here as they get that all-important wicket. Who's batted beautifully all the way through the innings. Goes for a big shot here. And is this going to go to the fielder? It goes right under his hand. He actually tried to go for the catch rather than backing up. And uh, that might have cost him there. Oh, if he only stays on the boundary rope, I think he's got a chance of putting his body behind it and stopping it. In the end, that gamble, probably an unnecessary gamble, costs his side a few extra runs as the Napa Royal Kings end up with a very, very healthy score of 146. The Napa Royal Kings are now in a commanding position heading into the second inning. So it's not happening here at the moment, Nish. I mean... They need to go at a big rate, and it's all well. They haven't even, they've only just warmed up the engine. Still running cold. It's another swing and a miss, but well, it gets away from this. going to get four buys from this. The wicket keeper won't be happy. Uh, Rabul Bahil with that effort needs to stop this. And this one, I think, I think he nutmegs it. Yeah, he does. Goes straight through his legs, and once it gets past you on this outfield, going to race away. Oh, I just continue that thought after this one. Is this going to trickle away for the first four? It hey. will. Oh, we've had to wait till the fifth over, but we finally have a boundary. This is a little late cut, helped by the fielder. Goes off his knee, but they deserve a bit of charity. <laughs> that rate going high and high. high. Sort of Jeet will give another boundary away. It goes as buys. Won't go down to, to his figures. The wicket keeper not able to deal with it. Doesn't say much about the batting performance. Uh, the batsman advances down the crease. Will this finally go for four as we see his second one? This is a truly good cricketing shot. He came down the wicket. Wonderful performance. And this is a fuller delivery. Is this going to go the distance? No, it won't. And he's going to add to his half century with a wicket. He's pretty much cementing his place as the man of the match. Well, usually you'd say a bowling side getting their first wicket in the sixth over. He's just trying to reduce the margin and not really get beaten too badly. If this will help, that's going to be four more. So Singh coming across to try to stop the boundary, not able to do so. Singh to continue. Yes. Fuller delivery is this one going to go straight to the fielder. That's going to be a tough catch, but he's going to take it. That might be the catch of the day. Take a bow. That was a brilliant catch. Yeah, great catch there from Jess D. I thought he's going to take this and maybe go over the rope. Well, his cap does, but not me, he says. That's a really good catch. Good reward for Hardeep Singh. The two Singhs combined together. Um, this one's been well hit, and this will go all the way. A nice shot. Well, that's a good reply. But once again, look, in enemy is in now, the captain. And once again, two men that have come to the crease, both of them hitting boundaries. And he pulls his length back here. This one's going to be tucked away and it's going to go towards square leg. So finally, it's the captain himself, Imani, who's hitting a few boundaries and he probably wishes he'd batted higher up the order or considered retiring the openers. That's a brilliant slower ball and Ahmed's brilliant day continues to get even better. That's his second wicket. And this man can do no wrong today. He was flacking it all over the park when he had the bat in hand and now with the ball in hand. He's looking just as adept, and this might be a man who potentially we have to look at for the rest of this tournament as one of those danger impact players. Scoring 67 of 28 deliveries, and now he's picked up a two for and only given eight runs away. 
differently to what the Super Kings did. Yeah, good question. Yeah, this one gets worked away. So Set of G just losing his shape slightly. No pressure put on them at all for the word dot. I mean, it, here we go. There's another wicket. So it's a straightforward catch. He says, can I take this one home with me? Well, maybe after the match you can. That's nicely done. Ricky on his back. And there's uh, Karan Veer Singh taking a good catch. And another wicket goes down. So it's a uh, wicket's falling quickly. It's uh, Singh doing the bowling. Now for Royal Kings, where we see this final ball of this innings. And uh, that will put the uh, Cypress Super Kings out of their misery now that this uh, innings is done. One thing I will say, though, it's 31 extras given up by this uh, Super King side. You compare that to Everest, five runs of extras in their first game, then nine runs of extras in their second game.